Class, let's say you can buy an HVAC system for your business for $20,000 and you believe it will save $6,000 per year in energy costs for the first two years and then save $3,500 per year for the next seven years. And, we're, and you are asked, what would the payback period be on this project and what would NPV or net present value of this project be, assuming the proper discount rate is 8%. Now this is a very simple example. It's not considering taxes. It's also not considering what do we do with the HVAC system <clears throat> at the end of nine years. We're just going to assume at the end of nine years, we're done. We can't sell it. There's no additional cash flow. So like I say, this is a very simple example. Now, the easiest way I would solve it is in Excel. I would lay out the information like this with cash inflows, positive numbers, outflows negative. Period zero means right now. And and we're always recording at the end of the period. So at the end of year one, we, we're going to get back 6,000. All right, with this in mind, I would then compute the cumulative payback. So at period zero, meaning right now, we're 20,000 in the hole. But at the end of a year, we've earned 6,000 of positive cash flows, then add the cumulative amounts to it. Now, once I have that formula in there, I can copy it down. Okay, and we can keep going positive, but quite frankly, we only need to go uh, to the first instance where we're positive, and we don't need the formulas after that. And then what I would do is just start summing the years. After one year, we're still negative, so that's a year. After two years, we're still negative, that's another year. After three years, we're still negative. Now, at the end of the fourth year, we're negative 1,000, but we go positive in the fifth year. So what happens here is we've got to calculate a partial year. All right, so how do we do that? Well, first we know we're still negative at the, at, at the end of the fourth year, so that's another year. But in the fifth year, what we realize is we were only a negative 1,000, and we had to get to 3,500. So I'm going to take the absolute value of 1,000 by making it a negative, or by changing the sign, right? If I take equal minus 1,000, that turns it into a 1,000 positive number. So if I'm going to take 1,000 positive number and divide it by 3,500, and we see that in the fifth year, we actually, and this would not be in dollars, this would just be in a partial year, would be 0 0.9 of the year. Okay, so then if I uh, calculate the payback, all I've got to do now is just sum that. So I'll take the sum of all those years, and I see in this instance the payback, and we don't need that kind of amount, is 4.29, or I'm going to make that even smaller, 4.3 years. Okay, see how that works? That's how you calculate cumulative payback uh, when the cash inflows vary. Okay, then the next question asks us to determine net present value. All right. Now, I'm going to do this down here, but why don't I move the screen a little bit? All right, so let's calculate net present value. And what I would do is I'd simply come into this cell here. Here, I'll make this a little bit wider. And I'm going to type equal NPV, hit the left parentheses. And then what I like to do is come up right here to the insert function button, which calls up function arguments. Okay, once I have the function arguments up here, put this where you can see it, I just tell it where the information is. Well, the rate is 8%. And then look what it says for value one. Uh, payments and income equally spaced in time and occurring at the end of each period. So we have to start at the end of the first period, and that's critical. And then just highlight all of those. That's all you need to do. Now, when I hit OK at this point, all I have is the present value of those positive cash flows. But net present value also considers the cash flow, it, whether it's an inflow or outflow that occurs right now. So I'm going to hit F2 and then add in that negative amount. And now I've calculated a net present value of $6,322.27. Now, what does that mean? It simply means if this business takes on this project in terms of today's present value and if these cash flows turn out, as predicted, as predicted, the organization has improved to the tune of $6,322.27. You can think of it this way. 
by taking on this project, we increase the wealth of this business by $6,322.27. Okay, and that's payback and net present value.